All right, we've talked about lines. We've talked about parallel lines. Let's um, talk a little bit more about lines. And I'm going to put a little x and y axis right here. You're familiar with that. We've talked about that earlier in the year. Let's put a line about like that. I'm not going to put the arrows on the end of it, but um, you can imagine the arrows are on there. Okay, I'm just not going to put that on there right now. What I want to do is I want to look at this line right here, and um, let's say a few things about it. Let's take a look at this line. I want to see how it's slanted. Okay, if you look at it from left to right, if you look at it from left to right. And let's say you were either walking up or down. Which would you walk? Would you walk up the hill or down the hill if you're going from left to right? You're going up the hill, right? So, um, it's my marker. There it is. Okay, so you're going up the hill. So you're going up. So any line that is slanted from left to right, if it's going up, we call this a positive. Oh, that's too thick. It's right like this. We call this. It's got a positive slant, but we don't call it a slant in math. What do we call it? You've done this in Algebra 1. It starts with an S, even starts with an SL. Slope. This is the slope of a line. So when we talk about the slope of a line, we're talking about basically just how it's slanted, okay? Is it slanted up real nice and steep, or is it a little flatter? Is it right in the middle, or what is it, okay? This right here would be a positive slope. So anything that's slanted, if it starts moving up from left to right, we call this a positive slope. All right? And are we doing what? Shading? No, no shading. Not on this. Okay, what if you had a line? Let's make it a little steeper like that, just to make it look a little different. Okay? Yeah, so watch. If you're, again, from left to right, if you're sitting on top of this hill right here, from left to right, you would be going where? You would be going down, so we call this a... Negative, negative slope. slope. Pretty easy. All right, so that's a negative slope because it's going down. Again, from left to right, it's going down. Because some people look at it and say, yeah, but if you're walking the other way, you're going up. But I'm talking left to right. Okay, so just the way we read. We read left to right. So if we go left to right and we go up, it's positive. If we go down, it's negative. Let's do a couple more. What if you had a line that wasn't going up and it wasn't going down? It was just going straight across like this, or horizontally. This is a horizontal line, isn't it? All right. It's not no slope. It does have a slope. It's a zero slope. Now, when I think of slopes, I don't know how many of you guys go skiing, like snow skiing or not. Anybody gone skiing or snowboarding or anything like that? Okay. It's a lot of fun. I, if I'm lucky, I might go once a year. Okay. That's about it. There's a couple years where I've gone two or three times. <laughs> There's a few years I might have gone two or three times, but it's kind of expensive and it's kind of tough to get to. So, um, so I don't ski that often. But when I do, I enjoy it, and I do fairly well. I go down the big hills and all that kind of stuff. No, this is not back and forth. This is just me. Okay. I know. That's what I meant. It's not back and forth. It's just me telling stories. So just listen to me. So this right here, if I go skiing, you could actually ski on something like this, couldn't you? I mean, you could. You, sure you can. You can get pulled, right? Or you can um, somebody push you or something like this. But what if you were just standing there? What if you're just standing there with your skis? See, there's your skis right there, and there's your poles. <laughs> All right? That's about as good as I can draw right there. All right. And so let's say you're let's say you're just standing there. Nobody's pushing you or anything else. And you're on a completely horizontal surface. There's no gust of wind. You're not pushing yourself. Nobody's pushing you. You're just standing there. How fast would you be going then? You'd be going zero miles per hour, wouldn't you? All right. So that's what I think of. When I think of horizontal, I think of zero. Because when I'm standing there, just standing, nobody pushes me. I'm not going to go anywhere, right? I'm going zero miles per hour, right? Or I'm going to go zero meters or zero feet, right? As long as no nobody's pushing, all right? So that's zero. So that slope right there is a zero slope. Now, zero does exist, 
All right, somebody said it's no slope. No, there's something else that's no slope. This is actually a slope. You can actually go to a ski resort, actually find a place, and you can actually ski on something like this, right? So it does exist, all right? So it does exist, but it's just a zero slope, all right? What if you had a line that went straight up and down? Michael. Okay, good. Uh, where do you want to put this? Let's just put this right here. So watch this. Again, what if you go to a ski slope? Even if you haven't been to a ski slope, you could probably just use your imagination here. Let's say this is the top of the hill right here like this, okay? And here I am. That's me. All right, and there's your... I'm off the ground, okay? I have no arms. There's my arms. Okay. Whee! So I'm free I'm free fall, okay? So watch. I'm going like this. Now, no... <laughs> I've been to a couple. I haven't been to like real, real, real big hills. Like in the Poconos, I've gone to a couple of bigger ones. Um, Camelback is pretty steep and, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I've never, and I don't do a lot of skiing, but I could. So if I'm standing on top of this hill, and if it went straight down like this, they're not going to advertise it. They're not going to say, like, I don't know if you've been skiing, but they have different colors or just different slopes. Like the easier ones are usually green. Then if it gets a little bit tougher, it's blue. Then you get to the really tough ones the, at the top of the mountains. And what is it? Black. They're black. Black diamonds is what they call them. Like double black diamond. I don't even know how many diamonds they have on them. But I've seen double or triple black diamonds, I guess. I don't know. But they're pretty steep. I mean, you look down, you almost think you're going straight down on some of these. And it's a little scary. But I have never ever seen it advertised that okay here's a quadruple black diamond and let go straight down like this pick up your parachute while you're there right so you've never seen this this doesn't exist there is no now there are hills that look like this okay but it's not a slope it's nothing that you would ski down so it's it doesn't exist okay so watch it does not exist or michael how'd you say it you said it's undefined. Let me give you another way to remember undefined. Okay? Or you could say no slope. Right. John said no slope. Because look, that doesn't exist. There is no slope. This is not a slope at all. It's not zero slope because zero slope is something. Zero is something that exists. All right? So that does exist. You can go to the ski slope and see something like this, okay, before you get onto the, what do you call those things that go up to the top? The lifts, right? The ski lifts, right? Okay, so, um, but this does not exist. This is no slope. You'll never see this advertised at a ski resort to go down something like this. All right, that's no slope. There's a big difference. So a vertical line is no slope. You could think of it as undefined as well. There's no, and we'll talk more specifically about this a little bit. But let's say I actually did go down this, and it was really, really tall. Okay, guess what would be left of me down the bottom of it? Nothing. Okay, there'd be nothing left of me. They they wouldn't be able to identify my remains probably, okay, depending on how high the mountain is. Okay, I would be what? I'd be undefined down here in a mess, all right? So I would be undefined. So think of that. When you think of what zero is, when you think of what zero slope is as opposed to this one right here, Remember these little analogies, these little pictures that I'm trying to, to get you uh, to think about in your mind. This is zero slope. This is no slope. If you're going from left to right, if you're going up, it's positive. If you're going down from left to right, then it would be negative. Okay, those are all important things uh, that, that we deal with when we talk about slopes. All right? So we may not be going in the exact same order that the book does, but that's okay. I think that's the easiest thing to understand first before we get into the other stuff. And remember what a slope is. The slope is basically the slant of the line. It's how steep it is, okay, or how flat it is. So if I had a line like this again, uh, we want to figure out how steep this thing is. Michael? It is, it is kind of like the rate. Um, we probably won't talk about that right now, but, um, but you're right. You can, you can find the right, the rate of it. Yeah, it is. It's not rate, but it, you're close. We're going to get to that in just a a few minutes here. Watch. If I wanted to find how steep this is, you're right. If I wanted to find out how steep this line is right here, this is how I would figure it out. What I would do is I'd measure, I'd pick two points on that line, okay? Because remember, the line keeps on going forever, 
right? So I pick two points on that line, and I'm going to figure out how far up and down I go and how far across I go. But we don't use, right, we don't use up and down and across. We use these words. We use how much that we rise. Do you remember this from Algebra 1? And then how much we what? Run, okay? Rise and run. They both start with R. It makes it easy. That's your slope. So if you wanted to find the slope of a line, what you do is you pick two points and you count how far from here to here, right? If you if you you know run this thing straight over, and then how far do you run? If you look at it, let's write this down. So it's rise over run. That should be pretty familiar to you, all right? Because that's something that you probably learned in pre-algebra and algebra one and, and all that kind of stuff. So the slope is the rise over the run. That's how you figure out how steep that line is. Does that make sense? Um, let's talk about the signs. We talked about a positive slope, negative slope, and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about the sign here. Um, and you could have you could rise and run the other way, right? You could have gone from the bottom one and then over like this. It's the same distance though, isn't it? See, this distance and this distance is the same. This one across, this one across is the same. It doesn't matter how you do that. But let's say, let's do the first way we did it. If we rise, which direction did we rise? We went what? Down, which is what kind of number? It's a negative number, isn't it? Okay, so this rise would be negative. And now from here to here, we're going to the left. So that would be negative as well, wouldn't it? But I thought going from left to right is a positive. Well, it is because look at our look at our uh, signs. Rise is what negative over run is negative. What's a negative divided by a negative? It's equal to a positive, isn't it? So, what kind of line is this? What kind of a uh, slope? It's a positive slope. Does that make sense? So we said earlier, going from left to right, if you go up, is positive. But we just kind of showed, you know, with the signs that that's that works as well. Let's do another. Uh, let's put another line in the same. Let's make it a little bit steeper, though. All right, let's just make it go right here. All right, again, you just pick two points on the line. Let's pick a point here and a pick a point here. And we want to find the rise over the run. So we do what? We rise and then we run. Now notice, my rise was down. I can still rise down. When we think about rising, we think about going up, don't we? But when we think about rise, rise means go goes up and what? Down, right? So if you go down, it's a negative rise. If you run if you rise up, it's a what? It's a positive rise, all right? Does that make sense? So let's go from this point, this top one, to this one down here. What's my direction? I rose what? Negative, right. So I went down, so I rose negative. I'll put a little negative right there. Now I'm here. i got to get to this point. Which way am I going to go? Go to the right, which is positive, all right? So I've got a negative over a positive. So my slope is negative over positive. What's a negative divided by a positive? It's negative, isn't it? Look at that yellow line. Does that look like a negative slope? Absolutely. So when we're actually ready to put some numbers in, and we're not going to put some numbers in today. We'll probably do this tomorrow, okay? So when we put some numbers in, the negative and the positive really mean something. All right, what about this? I'll tell you what, this is kind of messy right now. Let's just copy this x and y axis again. And let's put another line in there. Let's make it green again. Uh, let's put the line about right here. Everybody see that line right there? If you wanted, you could put a arrows on the end. Let's figure out, now we already told you what the slope of this line is, but I want to show you like sign-wise or number-wise what it is. Let's pick two points. Let's pick a point here and a point here. I'm not really sure where it lies on here, but that's okay. Now how do I find the slope? I find the slope by finding the what? The rise over the run. Okay, that's right. Look at the rise. To get from this point, we'll call it point A to point B. Okay, to get from point A to point B, do we have to rise at all? No. no. So I rise zero. But then you run over whatever the number is, right? Let's just call it x since we don't know how far we run over. Is that all right? So we rise zero and we run x or any number. Somebody got a calculator out? What's zero divided by any number at all? It's zero. That's right. So what did we say the slope of a horizontal line is? It's zero. So the slope is zero. Does that make sense? So that's why it's zero. Now, what's I think a little bit more interesting is that vertical line. Let's take a look at that vertical line. Now, we already talked about what the slope is, but I want to show you um, why it is what it is. Okay? 
and I want to show you why it's undefined. I want to show you why it does not exist. So pick two points on the line, and what do we want to do? We want to do rise over run to find the slope, don't we? Now look, I want to go from this point to this point. So I count down, boom, 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 whatever it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever the numbers are, okay? We'll just call it Y since we're going up and down. Is that all right? You can call it X if you want to. But what's the run? After I rise from here to here, how far do I run? I run, I run zero. That's right. Very good. If you try this in your calculator, you put any number divided by zero, and you're going to get an error in your calculator. Try it. Put, some, put a number, 5. 5 divided by 0, get a number. Okay, or punch equals, and it's going to say error. And so what does that mean? That means it doesn't exist. There is no number. You cannot divide by 0. So that's why we say that a vertical line is what? Is undefined, right, because it doesn't exist, all right? It doesn't show up on a calculator. There's no number. There's no slope for this, all right? So undefined. Or you could say no slope, all right? That would be perfectly acceptable, all right? Or you could say it doesn't exist. That would be fine too. But most of the time, people would usually say it's undefined or say no slope. Sometimes uh, some teachers teach it empty set or the null set. You ever hear of the null set? Looks like that. Remember doing that stuff? Maybe like in, in middle school, you did like empty set or like this. I did that last. You remember doing that kind of thing? All right, it means it doesn't exist. It means there's nothing in there. It doesn't mean it's zero. Zero's different. Zero does exist. Are you listening? Zero does exist. Zero is a number. It's on our number line. All right? So this is not zero. This doesn't exist at all. That slope does not exist. Now, the line exists, but the slope doesn't exist. All right? It's just like when you're skiing. You would never, ever see a slope like that. All right, so it does not exist. Does that make any sense? All right, so I kind of showed you why this was positive, why this was negative, um, why this was zero, and why this was undefined. Hopefully that helps a little bit um, on understanding those things. Now, tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to start putting some numbers in here and figure out what the slopes actually are and figure out all that kind of thing. All right, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. I'm not even going to give you a worksheet today. We'll just finish this up tomorrow. I'll give you a worksheet tomorrow. Uh, for those guys who are football players, um, I'm going to give you a worksheet today in case you don't get it tomorrow, okay?